Hey, you're watching Swerve on YouTube and today I want to show you how to make your voice sound better in Adobe Audition. Alright, so once you open Audition, the first thing you need to do is set up your hardware. And to do this, all you need to do is go to your Preferences, Audio Hardware, and you've got three options. You've got your input, your output, and your sample rate. So for the input, I've used my Blue A Pro, my output's just my general speakers, and for the sample rate, here's where it gets a bit interesting. So you've got a few options here. Um, so the lower you go, the less frequencies you have. So you've got your lows, your mids, and your highs. So if I was to go to 96,000, I would have more frequencies in between the original frequencies. So I'd have lows, low mids, my mids, my mid highs, and so on. So I like to use 48 because the file size is pretty small and the quality is pretty high. So that's about it for that side. I like to go into the settings as well and make sure that everything connected has the same frequency as well. So my input would have 48,000 and so on. So once that's done, I'm going to click OK and we're pretty much set for the next stage to so stay tuned. So I just recorded my voice and this is what it sounds like without the effects. Alright, so here we are in Audition and this is kind of my real voice. So as you can see, it sounds a bit flat and it needs a boost. So um, I like to use three effects. The first one I'm going to show you is the graphic equalizer, 20 bands. and Looking at this, I like to create a mini wave kind of effect. So I go to the mid high section and I just create a little wave like so. It's pretty simple. And it just adds a subtle effect, making it higher in some bits and more pronounced in others. So I like to create a little wave like that little tweaks so I'm gonna play how it sounds at the moment just so you can get an idea of what just happened alright so here we are in audition and this is kind of my real voice alright so as you can see the highs have been increased and we've got a bit more depth in the higher area so now it's time to move on to the lower section and I'm gonna go around to the parametric equalizer for the next step which is add in the lows so I'm going to go to the preset and go to loudness maximizer and I'm going to increase that a bit around here so I think there's about fine and I'm going to click play all right so here we are in audition and this is kind of my real voice perfect so um, if you want to take away some bits of the voice you can just choose each of these numbers so I'm going to take a bit of the mids away and I'm just going to move this down a bit more and taper it off perfect and I'm going to play it one more time just to hear how it sounds all right so here we are in audition and this is kind of my real voice perfect so I like the way it's sounding already it's already rounded off it's feeling a bit more you know in depth um so the lastly what we need to do now is go to our compression and I'm going to choose hard limiter and this is what adds the radio effect. So I'm going to choose limit to minus one dB and I'm going to change the maximum amplitude to minus two. Perfect. And by doing this, here's what we get. All right. So here we are in audition and this is kind of my real voice. Perfect. So now we're ready to move on to the next stage, which is removing the background noise and making it sound a bit more refined. So I'll see you in the next part. All right. So getting rid of background noise is pretty simple. So first of all, we need to apply our effect. So I'm going to click apply. And once you've done that, we can select our blank spaces where the noise is going to occur most. And I'm going to go to effects and we need to create a noise print. So I'm going to capture this noise print and we can now use this noise print as a reference for the rest of our audio. So deselect everything you have selected and go to effects again and we're going to choose noise reduction. So um, if you copy down what I have here, it's a really good preset that I use and click apply. You should end up with a noise free audio. And it's going to sound pretty amazing. You're going to sound like you just came out of the BBC. Anyways, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and comment. And I'll see you in another video.